Shape Move is a simple yet powerful tool for creating animations in Figma. By using the anchor points of a shape as the basis for the animation, we can create organic and fluid movements. This plugin is developed to help designers add visual interest to their designs without the need for complex animation software. The pre-configured animation templates are available in the library section in the plugin. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced designer, these templates can help save time, provide inspiration, and make animation more accessible. Let's create an animation in Shape Move. First, let's create a frame and add a shape to it. We can use the pen tool to draw any shape or add an ellipse or rectangle. When we select the layer with the shape and press enter, we will see the anchor points in editing mode. Then let's copy the frame and change the position of the anchor points. Select both frames and open the plugin. The plugin takes the point coordinates from the first and second frames and draws the animation between them. When we simply move the shapes, the point coordinates will also change, and the plugin will draw the animation between them. The animation also works for more than two frames. Now let's create several shapes. We duplicate the frame, move the shapes and open the plugin. The plugin has various delay settings that allow the shapes to start moving one after another in order or randomly. There are also tips for each of the settings. Each delay leaves the animation cyclic. This means that the frame where the animation begins will also be the last one. Offset works differently. It adds the number of milliseconds that we specify in the slider to the initial time of each subsequent layer. Such animation is not cyclic, but looped. When offset adds milliseconds to layers successively, random offset does it randomly. Now let's animate fonts. First, duplicate the frame and change the font settings. Open the plugin shape move. Let's add a few font colors to all frames. When we add a delay, we'll see that each color will be treated as a separate layer of the text. When we apply the outline stroke property to the text, the plugin will start treating each individual letter as a separate element. Outline stroke should be applied to all frames. This is how easy it is to create font animations. However, it is important to mention that some actions may not work in the plugin. For example, if one shape has four points and another has five, the behavior may be unpredictable. Also, if we create a frame, not a shape, the plugin will not be able to move anchor points since frames don't have them. When we rotate our shape, we will see that it seems to decrease. This is because the plugin moves points linearly, not radially. If you want to change the color of one of the shapes, the color will only be taken from the first frame. When the animation is ready, we can export it in SVG format, which can be checked via a browser. We find it very convenient because the animation is lightweight and doesn't require any third-party libraries. Additionally, there is an option to export in GIF and WebM formats. That's it. Now you know how to use the Shape Move plugin to create animations. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't be afraid to experiment with different shapes to create your own unique animations. With the power of the plugin Shape Move, you can take your designs to the next level. I hope this tutorial has been helpful in getting you started with Shape Move, and that you feel inspired to continue exploring and creating your own animations.